In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make custom commands for your Minecraft Bedrock Worlds. Now, you can do this for realms if you have those, or you can just do it on a world with your friends if you want to show them something cool you made. Now, I made a video showing how to do this a little while ago, but that's kind of outdated now. So, this video is just going to show uh, the new version. It's changed a little bit, but I'll explain everything. And then I'll have the download link for the pack in the description below. So I'll quickly show you uh, some examples of the commands. Um, sadly, we still can't type, let's say, slash and then custom command if we had one, right? We can't do this because Minecraft just doesn't like us. But what we can do is we can set any prefix for custom commands we want. And in this case, I have it as two exclamation points. So if I type, let's say, spawn, if I want to go to spawn, I can type this and now I will be at spawn. Obviously, this isn't a spawn, but just imagine it is. And then I added a couple other commands in, like uh, GMC, but I'm already in creative. You can do GMS, and then I'm in survival now, but I can go back to creative. And then if you want to, let's say, type a command that doesn't exist. So obviously, this command doesn't exist. It'll just tell you error. It doesn't exist. Um, and I added one more Discord. By the way, you should join this Discord. Anyway. Um, back to the video. So the pack behind this, like I said, it'll be in the description and this is what will be inside it. Um, it's not much and we're going to just focus on the scripts folder because that's where it's handled. So we have our index.js and this is where all the code is. So I have it actually open over here and you don't have to worry about uh, much in here except this main switch. Um, everything else like this down here, don't touch it. This, if you want to change the prefix, you can change it right up here. And then, let, like I said, if I go into creative, I have to put two exclamation points before the command. That's what the prefix is, and it's specified here. And then the commands are all specified here. So if I wanted to add an extra one, I'll show you this just in case you want to add a command in. Uh, I would just copy a case. And then, let me delete these extra spaces because they aren't needed. Um, so yeah, if I wanted to add a case, and then let's say we'll call it test, then I can just do this. And let's just say I want my player to say test. I'll, I'll save the file, and then uh, I'm just going to rejoin the game. And once we have the game loading back up, uh, as you can see, if I now type exclamation mark, exclamation mark, test, and enter that command, I said test, because that's what I specified in here. So, um, like I said, that's how you add another command. And what basically happens is we're just telling the server to run a different command when we do that. So if we type this thing in, it would do the same thing, but you can have it run two things if you want. So if I copy that and paste that, then I can have it say, let's say test two, or if I had a function, then I could do like function test, but I don't have that. You can do whatever you want here. You can have it, like I said, run code or run different commands. Like I said, there's not too much to it. It's just this one file. You have one switch case, and then you can specify what commands you want. Just type in the name of it here. Uh, the error message, so if you type something that doesn't exist, uh, that's specified down here, or down here, my bad. Um, and you can change this if you want to be whatever you want. If you want to set up some sort of permission system, if you want to get more advanced, by all means, go for it. Um, but yeah, with that said, like I said, the link for the download to this will be in the description. Um, the one last thing I'm going to say before I end this video is if I actually show you the world settings, um, you do need enable game test framework enabled because this is taking advantage of game test. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If there's anything I didn't cover because I know this was very brief, uh, I'll leave a link to the original video in the description below. The pack that was in the description of that video will no longer work, but I may have touched on some things that you might need. So yeah, uh, with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps me out. Uh, if you really like this video, make sure to subscribe. It really helps support what I do. If you want to get in contact with me, have any questions, make sure to join my Discord. The link for that is in the description below. And I hope you guys have fun with this pack, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.